John and Jonah's jib here. We've got it actually trimmed in a little bit too much. We can see it kind of a crease from the corner of the tack of the jib all the way back to the clue with the jib sheet. And so we're actually kind of closing off a little too much power in this breeze. If we compare it to Jake and Steven's jib, they're full and smooth. And we can see in the next about 10 seconds uh, right here, John and Jonah definitely further ahead of Jake and Steven, but because we've closed off all this power, we're not really moving. The boat's not moving through the water the way it wants to. Jake and Steven are moving faster and are drawing up even with them and even beginning to pull ahead as we follow through this video. Next up, we got to look at some weight balance issues here. So we can see the bow here for Ellis and Andy kind of jumping out of the water. We can see where the boat you know, the, the very bottom of the boat is coming out of the water there versus John and Jonah keeping the bow a lot further in the water. Sometimes bouncing up definitely could have Jonah scoot a little farther forward. We can see his body's actually kind of angled forward. We don't want that. We want to keep legs locked together, knees locked together, feet locked together, and then body scooted forward so body can be up here. Uh, and That'll keep the bow down. Uh, that'll kind of depend, de uh, how your your skipper to crew weight ratio is. If the skipper weighs more, he might have to be further forward. If the crew weighs more, the, your weight might be more easily balanced anyway. Uh, here we can see we've got Jake and Steven a little farther back in the boat. John crewing backwards, further forward, bows further down. We can look at where the water is compared to the number on the boat. And we can see here, watch the distance between them. The keeping the bow in the water is going to be a lot faster than having the bow bouncing up and down and we can see this gap getting smaller as Jake and Steven are bouncing up and down there. Uh, here just real quick watch an attack from Jake and we want to stop doing that where we kind of dive down in the middle of the boat for a second while we cross the boat. It's just something we don't want to be doing. Uh, here we got another looks like we've got the weight further forward now we can see that Ellis has moved himself up forward so he's right next to where Andy's sitting as the crew and we did not see that bow bouncing up and down so much so that is good. Heading downwind we want to make sure we let that sail get out as soon as possible get it all the way out there we go and then watch an attack from James uh, kinda watch how you step over the tiller there that's something we want to stop doing right here You kinda have the tiller in the middle of the boat and you're stepping over it something we don't want to have to do uh, now watching John and Jonah as we turn down away from the wind uh, compared to James and Joe's sails we want to get those that main out especially to the side immediately James is still trying to get it out there and so Jonah and John pull ahead just because they got their sails out and working for them on that downwind run uh, one little point for John there you want to spin around forward while you're just on the starboard ley line so that all that stuff you're doing with the jib for Jonah getting it to the wing that's all happening when you're facing forward so we want to turn around just before we head downwind